Hi everyone, a number of years ago I put a video out and released a video on pointless motorway driving and it involved a vehicle speeding up and slowing down and then they were quite aggressive towards my driving school vehicle and it happened on this motorway that I'm joining now, the M58. Now we don't get any aggression with this driver that we're going to come up to in a moment but it does show how many problems can be caused when people on motorways and faster moving carriageways don't maintain their speed properly. As with the other clip my car's cruise control is on and it's set to 70 miles an hour for the duration of this video. The car that we're watching is the one that's directly in front of me now in lane 2, the one that's overtaking the lorry. I also understand for this particular part of the clip why the little blue Vauxhall isn't up to 70. This slope is particularly steep and it may not be able to get up to 70 that quick. But what is more likely happening is that the driver is just sat with a foot in one position because now we're at the top of the hill the blue Vauxhall starts to speed up a little bit which makes me question whether or not the overtake was worth it but when it moves back to lane one it seems to be problem solved but is it i'm still at 70 don't forget so the blue car has significantly increased its speed since we first saw it so what do i do now well a lane change because it's catching the lorry in front and it's going to move out Notice the section of road now is quite significantly downhill and this also backs up my theory that the blue Vauxhall's driver just had their foot in one position because they actually start to catch me up here. They now back off for the van in lane 2. I again continue at 70. Now the van's moved back to lane 1, I can come back to lane 2 myself and then I'm checking to see whether anyone's coming from the slip road before I then continue back to lane 1. But watch the blue Vauxhall now. I still have my cruise control set to 70 miles an hour, don't forget. have no issue if they've decided they wish to go a little faster. But moving back to lane 1 yourself and then slowing down is a problem. It did cross my mind whether or not that they were going to take this exit off. So still being at 70 and actually way too close to the blue one now, I use the space in lane 2. If you didn't catch that because the audio was poor, I said, always happens on this blasted motorway. What's the point? I'm stuck at 70. In this video, I didn't have my roof box on, so I can't blame it on that this time. But do you have problems like this when you're traveling on motorways? And how does it affect the flow? There are many factors to this happening. I've alluded to a few in this video. People tend to keep their foot in the same position. They also tend to not adjust well enough for hills. I know that's the same sort of thing, but it, it just adds to the problem. I also feel people tend to accelerate when the road's clear in front of them and then slow down when it's not. I know that probably is suitable sometimes, but there are other lanes that you can use to overtake and keep the flow going. Now, have you noticed the blue car? It's catching us again. And my cruise control hasn't been touched. We're still at 70. So because of what's happened over the last 3 or 4 minutes, I don't want to get boxed in with the vehicle up in lane 1. So we get out early. People like the driver in this blue Vauxhall are classics at boxing you in when you're coming up to something that you need to overtake. 
But notice, now I've moved into lane 2 and I'm in front of them, they've slowed down again. Speeding up and slowing down to this extent on such a quiet motorway proves their lack of planning. My speed hasn't changed throughout this last 5 minutes. And as I clear the space in front of them, you can guess what they're going to do next, can't you? Keep safe everyone. I'll see you soon.